Hi guys, Kay here. Today's video is going to be all about how do we manage balancing our mediumship with our family obligations, personal obligations, work, and all that entails. So stay with me if you're interested in learning more about that. In the meantime, if you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button. And hey, if you have any questions, um, post them below. I'll be happy to answer them. All right, let's get started. All right, so I know what it's like to have to balance all of your day-to-day -day normal activities along with your mediumship training or just being a medium in general. It can be a bit overwhelming. I get that totally. When I was training, I was a full-time classroom teacher. Uh, I was the union rep for a school, which was a job in itself. It was crazy, guys, absolutely crazy. And I know I didn't handle it well. I know I didn't. I totally forgot about me. You know, my whole life consisted of daytime was work, nighttime was mediumship, weekends was mediumship. And it was crazy and I kind of lost myself in the process. So I, I hope this video will help you to find some kind of balance there so you don't lose who you are and what you're all about in the process of learning to become the best medium that you can become. I think the most important thing that I can share with you that I learned from my own mistakes was to really make sure that I take care of me before I take care of anything else. Because if I wasn't taking care of me and I wasn't going out and having fun and enjoying my own life, I wasn't gonna be a good classroom teacher and I wasn't gonna be a good medium. So I think that is the key right there. So when you set your schedule for the day or your schedule for the week or the month, however you do it, Make sure the first thing that goes on that list is your me time. Schedule it in because you are the most important aspect of this whole shebang. If you are not being taking care of you, how can you take care of anything else? So make sure you cut out that time for you, whether that's going to the gym and working out, going for a nice long walk on your own, or just doing something simple, like making sure you have time with no interruptions, none whatsoever, sucking in a nice hot bubbly bath, whatever it is that you find for you, make sure you do that. That's number one, okay? The second thing that we have to take care of beyond ourselves is our family, especially if we have children, or a husband that we have to coexist with. They're important too. They're, they're right there with you. So make sure you mark off time for that. Make sure that you're taking care and having that good quality time with them. The next aspect is taking care of your household, your work, all of those things. So you've got time for you, time for family, Time for the household duties, you know, the stuff that we hate to do. Got to make time for that. And then the fourth aspect, make sure you've got time for your work as well. And then five, five is your mediumship training. And it's not that it's the least important because it could be extremely important to you. But you've got five things there that you've got to figure out what you're going to do. Five things. Now your mediumship, here's the good thing. Your mediumship doesn't have to happen every single day. Work, five days a week probably. Family, seven days a week. Me time, seven days a week. Mediumship, two, three times a week. If you can fit that in, that's wonderful, wonderful. Now, what are some things that you can do to fit in your mediumship? Well, you're not really doing mediumship. One of the things that I used to do, I had a 30 minute drive to work every day. Now, when I lived in England, there were railroad tracks everywhere. So I was always getting stuck at the railroad tracks. When I would sit waiting on the train to come, 
I would use my psychic abilities to see if I could link in to determine which direction the train was going to come in. Now I know that's a 50-50 chance. So that's not that hard. I got a 50-50 chance of getting that correct. But then I would go beyond that. Then I would do, is it going to be a passenger train or is it going to be a cargo train? And then I would do, how many cars are going to be on it? If it's a cargo train, what's it carrying? So I would link in and I would just practice my psychic. In that five, ten minutes that I'm sitting at that uh, railroad crossing. One way that you can just squeeze in just a little bit of medium soup there. All right. I would also sometimes on my lunch break take 15 minutes just to sit in the power. I would just close my door, lock it. I would, I would lock my door because I had a 45 minute break uninterrupted. So I'd take 30 minutes to go to the restroom, scarf down some food, and the other 15 minutes I would sit in the power. I would just sit in the power and regroup and feel that again. So I would try to weave in a little bit of mediumship on a day-to-day -day basis in that kind of way. I, another thing I would do is I would get up early in the morning. I'd get up extra early and I would sit in the power before my day ever began. I would get up, go sit down, sit in the power, then I'd go and start my day. So that was another thing I would do. Yes, I had to get up extra early to get that done, but it was important to me, so I did that. I did that. Now, being a classroom teacher, my work is never finished, ever. Never, ever is a classroom teacher's work finished. So I often had to work um, doing grading papers and things like that at home. So during the week, pretty much it was sit in the power first thing in the morning before I ever started my day or I wouldn't get to sit in the power at all. I did attend a weekly circle once a week. I did give myself that and that was at night. And then the weekends, I would dedicate my weekends to mediumship. So that's when I would travel and do my mentorship programs or practice reading my friends, whatever it was that I needed to do. So that's kind of how I did mine. But guys, here's the thing. Your mediumship isn't going to go away if you don't get to do it every single day. If you could just map out two to three days a week where you're doing something, even if it's sitting at the railroad track, two or three days a week, it's going to make a big difference and it's going to help you quite a bit. It really is. So don't stress if you're not doing it every day. Don't stress about that. Just celebrate the fact that you were able to weave in that. You're, away, you're able to weave it in for a little bit, all right? Don't stress over it. You can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. I know you can. I wish you all the luck. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.